Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we will show you how to install the official WhatsApp on your Galaxy Watch 4, Galaxy Watch 5, the Pixel Watch or any other smartwatch running the Wear OS 3 or higher update. So up until this point, you could install WhatsApp on your watch, but you had to download the APK file and do a sideload via the ADB command. But now, WhatsApp is officially available for our smartwatch and you could easily install it from the Play Store itself. Moreover, you, you don't need any ADB command and with this new update, you could easily keep a track of all the chat history from your watch itself. You don't need to check out your phone every now and then. So with that said, let me now show you how to install the WhatsApp onto your watch using Play Store. So first and foremost, you have, at the time of writing, the feature is only available in the WhatsApp beta app. So you'll have to join the beta testing group and become a beta tester. So go to this link. I've given my guide in the description. You could refer to my guide and then click on this link. Then you will come to this page and from here you just have to click on become a tester. Make sure you are signing by your same ID which is currently logged in onto your phone and on your Samsung smartwatch. So click on become a tester and then you will get a notification that you are now a tester as you could see welcome to the testing program. So now wait for a few seconds and then you have to go to your phone and launch play store search for whatsapp and you will get a beta update. Just install this update and at the time of recording this video the latest beta version is version 2.23.10.10 so it's the latest build which was released just a few days back so install the update and with this you are now on the whatsapp beta build so once you have installed the update onto your phone your next also action is to install the app on your watch as well so for that just unlock your watch and make sure you are using the same id which is currently on your phone itself so on your watch and phone both should be having the same id and on your phone you should have installed the whatsapp beta update once that is done launch the play store onto your watch then search for WhatsApp Messenger and open this app and then first verify that it's the same version which is currently on your phone. So go to more info and as you could see it's the same version which we have installed on our phone which is version 2.23.10.10. So both are the same version. Once you have verified that, just now install this app. The installation will now begin and it will only take a few seconds. So let's wait for the time frame and then we will show you the steps to configure it. After that, you just have to carry out a few additional tweaks and then we will be done with the setup. Regarding the tweaks, you just have to type in a code which we will get on your watch onto your phone as well and then the setup will be complete. I'll show you that as well. So let's just wait for the app to be installed. Just make sure that you are using the same ID which you have used to here in the WhatsApp beta page and using that same ID, you should be logged in onto the Play Store as well. Once that is done, you will then get a Play Store update or regarding WhatsApp beta to install that update on your phone. And once that is done, install the same version of WhatsApp onto your watch as well. If you are logged in via the same Google ID on your watch as well, which is on your phone, then you will get a WhatsApp beta update on your watch as well. There is no need to do any other thing. So let's just wait for the time frame. And as you could see, the app is about to be installed. It's the WhatsApp Messenger beta version, which at the time of recording is version 2.0. 23.1.10 and it is currently installed onto my phone and it's now being installed onto my watch as well. We will not be taking the help of any ADB command whatsoever. The entire process will be carried out the official way, which is via the Play Store itself. So the installation usually takes around 15 to 20 seconds, depending on the storage space remaining on your watch and the remaining RAM and CPU speed. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we will move ahead. So you could always verify the app version by scrolling to the bottom and checking out the more info page and from here you could check out the version make sure whenever you are installing this app that the version number is same for both the phone and the watch as well anyway let's now check out the result so it's still installing and could take only around 10 to 15 seconds more and then i'll show you the rest of the steps which to be frank is quite shorter and easier to execute so it will only take around 10 to 15 seconds to initiate the rest of the process as well in the meantime, let's just wait for the app to be installed. It usually take around 15 to 20 seconds as well. And it's just for the one time setup from subsequent usage. You don't have to do any such task. You will already receive all the WhatsApp message from your watch itself. And you could keep a track of all the chat history on your watch. You don't need to interact with your phone whatsoever from now onwards. Thanks to the official update. So as you could see, the app is still installing. And in some cases, it takes quite a lot of time so it's taking time but not an issue let's just wait for the time frame and then 
after that i'll also show you how to install this app if you're not able to join the whatsapp beta testing group then that's also not an issue i'll show you then how to you could install the app onto your watch as well even without fail if you're having an issue joining the beta testing group that's not an issue i'll show you that as well then how you could install the beta version onto your watch that might be a little bit complicated so i will show you that at the end as of now let's just wait for the app to be installed which is taking a little bit longer than expected let me just verify the internet so it's currently connected so as you could see the app has now been installed onto our phone onto our watch as well so let's now proceed ahead and tap on open once you tap on open you will now get a code on your watch so let's just wait for the time frame the first time you could as you could see your and you have got a prompt on your phone as well so tap on this prompt and you will get are you trying to link a new device so tap on confirm and you have to then unlock your phone via the fingerprint or password and then type in the same code which is showing on your watch so let's do that as well this is just for the first time usage and from subsequent time you will not have to do this task so once you type in the code it will auto verify the process and then the whatsapp will be loaded onto your watch so you might get a wi-fi issue that just tap on continue and it will now load all your chats so, I and mean, you could keep a track of the chats on your watch itself and as you could see in the link device section we are now getting a Wear OS device onto our phone so the watch is now linked with our phone and you could now easily keep a track of that and you could also just long press on it and hit the logout button to remove the your watch from your whatsapp if you want or you could simply remove the whatsapp from your phone itself anyways the chats are now loading and as you could see we have now got hold of the chat so let's just wait for the time frame to load and let me show you the chat history as well so these are the messages as you could see i have shared some of the messages you could go through all these chats and get hold of the date time and messages likewise you could also send and record the messages and carry out this task from here itself so guys this was all from this video on how you could install the latest whatsapp onto your phone if at any point in time you have any issues for example if you are not able to join the whatsapp beta testing group then that's not an issue all you have to do is simply download the apk for both the whatsapp apk for your phone as well as the watch so i am using the apk mirror right as you could see these are the two apk links this is for your phone the whatsapp messenger version this and same this is for your watch so make sure to install the same beta version across your watch and phone and this is the first version which came with the whatsapp support for the Wear OS. so at least you should be on this version or any higher version so download the apk onto your phone and then install it once you have installed the apk on your phone then launch whatsapp onto your watch and then you will get the same whatsapp version onto the play store from your watch and then you could easily install it however you would also take one more route so after installing the apk onto your phone you could simply on your watch open play store and search apps on your phone then choose the whatsapp messenger and install the app it will then automatically install the same version which is installed onto your phone in our case that version will be the latest beta version so you could also simply use the apps on your phone section and select whatsapp and the same version will be installed onto your watch as well however if nothing works out which is quite rare then in that case you could refer to my guide and install the app using adb command but i don't think that there will be a need for this because there are quite a few other approach as i have shown you below anyways if you want you could use this tweak but keep this at the end apart from that you could first and foremost easily install the app from play store itself if you're not getting the play store update if you're not able to join the beta then manually install the apk file onto your phone then on your watch go to apps on your phone select whatsapp and it will be installed onto your watch but if none of these tweaks are working then you have no option but to opt for the adb method which in some cases which is i don't think would be required because these, these all this approach work well and good but if nothing is working in your case then you might have to opt for the adb command which i've also explained in this guide so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching